Hi, Killer Clan. Welcome back to Giant Foods. Last week, there was no Giant Foods. Well, kinda. You guys watched the video, the most McChickens ever eaten in one sitting. And I'm not gonna tell you how many because if you didn't watch it, now you have a reason to go back and watch it, so go check that out. But today, we're doing Indian curry. A gigantic version of it. Because you guys have been asking for it. So it's time to put together a huge chicken curry challenge. Let's do it. All right, so we're starting out with six pounds of chicken and I already cut this up because that would have been boring for you guys to watch. I got some water boiling over here because we got the boil in the bag rice. We also got carrots for in our curry, potatoes for in our curry, onions for in our curry. The golden curry sass mix. So cook this, boil that, add this, add those. Curry challenge here. No, oh, 12 ounces in there. I'm gonna put that in with the uh, in with the chicken while it cooks because not only will it add a little bit of moisture season the chicken. All right, Mr. Cool. So, we got the chicken rolling. Why'd you go all blurry? Focus. I've never actually had curry before. Mm. I've, had, I've had Thai curry before. It's pretty good. I've never had any types of curry. I know they make shrimp curry. Gross chicken curry, beef curry. I'm not sure if there's any other kind. If you know of any other kinds of curry, comment below. S and B golden curry, but it's the only curry mix I can find now. I do know that they make like liquid forms of it. Now this is, I don't know if this is like a powder, like a brick. Yeah, this is like a, uh, big bullion cube. this is like a big cube. You're supposed to break this up and mm, I don't know if you can smell that. It's a kind of Kind of smell. You know, it kind of smells like ramen noodle pack. Yeah, it kind of smells, it kind of smells like a ramen. ramen. Chicken so ramen. We got the boil the bag. There's, um, I believe, um, four bags in here. Four bag going in. Four's not enough though. How about eight? We got four more bags going in. That's how you cook rice. <laughs> that is. That's gonna be a lot of rice. Some rice for sure. Is going to, carrots are already gross enough without extra juice making it taste more like carrots. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take that out. That's a 14.5 uh, ounce can of carrots going into the mix. Just getting more delicious right here. Let's get that in, cool. I kind of feel like I'm making chicken noodles here. Yeah, kind of. You're supposed to add water to the curry sauce mix. What I'm going to do is use the water from the potatoes and then add water to it. Plus, it's pretty moist in there as it is because I got the carrot juice, I got the chicken, I got the onions that were frozen. All containing moisture. You always think, you always think that snacks. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're boiling up. We're about ready to add the curry sauce mix. Rice is ready to boogie. All right, Mr. Pool. So now that Mr. Pool saved the day, Wayne got more curry sauce because yours truly goofed up. I misinterpreted the package. I thought it would do five pounds, but it actually it only does one pound per tray. So now that we have enough. I can actually put this in. You're supposed to divide it up, bring it back to a simmer. Have six pounds of chicken. I need six of these things. So that's where we're at now. Start bringing our rice out. You can serve this over rice or pasta. Or pasta. Or pasta, it says on the bag. We went with the rice variety just because. I don't know how much weight this actually picks up, but if this is the case, this is like 
What did we say? Four pounds of rice, Andy Pool? Mm-hmm. It's a, it's a lot of rice, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, and I don't really like white rice. So, <laughs> this is like a lot, you know what I'm saying? I like white rice. Yeah, you do. No, I don't like white rice as much as I like white chocolate. White chocolate? White chocolate! You know what movie that's from? Comment below. Rest in peace, Philip Seymour Hoffman. Alright, so... That's a lot of rice. Oh yeah, it is. Now I'm gonna lost the bag. So I got the... There's all eight pouches. Alright, now we got this huge pot of curry. First time I ever made curry, it actually looks like it's gonna be pretty good, so... It's Japanese curry, huh? Japanese. I think. So, Indian curry, Japanese curry. I don't know, but it's it's a big. I'm not gonna lie, it's a big plethora of curry. Get the rest of it out here. Say that's looks pretty good for your first time in curry. Didn't Doesn't burn look bad. anything. Doesn't look bad either, dude. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. All right, so as you saw in the previous clips here, Mr. Pool and myself went ahead and put together this big chicken curry challenge. We weighed it on the plate at 21 pounds. The plate's about five and a half pounds, so this is about a 15 pound curry and rice challenge. Oh, it's so heavy. <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and let this thing cool down, then we're gonna get into it. I gave this thing a few minutes to cool down, as you can see, it's still like molten lava and it's probably gonna melt my face off, but we're gonna go ahead and get into this curry challenge. So, without further ado, the 15 pound. Indian curry with chicken and rice challenge. Three, two, one. Curry time. Got a big scepter. Got some carrots in there. Got my chicken all cut up. I got potatoes. Potatoes are like molten lava. Wow. That puppy's hot. It's very good. I would actually eat curry. I went with the medium hot, you know, killer. Ain't no spice, man. If Mr. Poole or Molly Scott was doing this, they'd probably put some hot sauce on top of it. <clears throat> Very good. It's just temperature hot. I'm gonna have flashbacks of the KFC famous bowl I did. Molten lava. I've seen a few people do them. Zermatt Neo, Eric the Electric, and Darren Yeet. 
If Darren Eats was here, he'd be like, Super Chat! I tell you, Super Chat, but I guess I would have to actually do a live. I haven't done a live stream in a while. Comment below if you'd like to see more live streams. Jerry has that 22 pound Japanese But he failed it. <clears throat> Joey Chestnut <clears throat> did fail a 22 pound curry challenge. That would be the biggest attempted on YouTube. That'd be rough. I wouldn't even attempt it. You could literally drink nothing and it would be all food. I was dry rice. If I remember correctly, I watched that video. It was pretty much all rice. And evidently, I guess, Matthew the Megatude Stoney did a 19 pounder. So he says. So he says. I don't know. Maybe. Everybody below thinks that Matt Stoney's the man. We'll never know because Killer and Matt Stoney will never share a table. He didn't finish it anyway. Unless he comes out of MLE. <clears throat> then maybe you'll see the Toad and the Killer head to head. It's really good, I got chicken breast in there. I got six pounds of chicken breast. It's if I boil it like soup, it's, it's so moist and tender. Got my sidekick. Wow, it's like, temp it's not spicy, it's just very temperature hot. It's like when you can feel your core getting hot, you start to sweat. I'm sweating to the oldies. Most people don't know what sweating to the oldies is. I tell you how old I am. Oh, Richard Simmons and them shorts are yours. I can always remember as a kid, my mom sweating to the oldies on VHS tape. I'd come out and I'd be like, what the heck are you doing? He'd be like, I'm sweating with Richard. I'm like, wow. like multiplies. That's a clear America here and trying to keep the calorie down. Clear America. Shout out to Walmart. The Fuji Apple. It's like the best flavored water ever. <clears throat> I feel like I get my daily serving of fruit every time I drink a bottle. Sweating like a hog. Ugh, look at that. Uh, uh.
There you go, here's Anderson's cameo. Give himself a little piece of Indian chicken. He agrees, it's delicious. <clears throat> Healthy vegetables in there. Make sure I keep these meals well rounded. Randall. I can't get it to move. It was definitely, it was definitely a good 15 pounds. Mm -hmm. At this point, you just you got it in the bag. You can just shovel that in there. Oh man. Wow. Uh. That was a lot of curry. Oh, just over 20 minutes for 15 plus pounds of curry and rice. Ugh. Delicious. But I think I'm good on curry for a while. But make sure you like the video and share it with your friends. And sub to the channel if you haven't. Because it's free. I mean, you can come and watch me eat these gigantic food creations for free. They say nothing's free, but it's free if you want to watch. So follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at the Killer Kennedy. Oh man, I I just Indian curry and take it easy.